The two colors used for the first glaze are Old Holland Gamboge Lake Extra, a very chromatic and very transparent yellow. Old Holland Brown Ochre Light, another very transparent color. Raw Umber, but I just can't remember which brand I used. The medium I used is Liquid Fine Detail, and I didn't use any solvent. Okay, I'm going to try to glaze this box. And I have no idea whether or not this is going to work. So we're going to see, because I don't know. I'm going to use three different colors. The first one is a mixture of Old Holland Gamboge Lake Extra mixed with Old Holland Brown Ochre Light. Brown Ochre Light is my new favorite color. It's a very intense mixture of a golden yellow with this brown ochre color. And I'm applying it vertically all the way down the front face of the box. Now I'm putting pure brown ochre light I'm overlapping them slightly. More brown ochre light. I can always just wipe it off if I don't like it. It looks a little bit too wet to me. going right over the brass tacks that are holding the box together. I'm mixing in some um, raw umber to get darker as I'm going around to the shadow mask side of the box. So now it's a mixture of the brown ochre light and raw umber. I'm going to go right over that form. I'm not worried about it at all. I'll just wipe it back off again. Clean, dry brush, hardware store, not real stiff brush. Dragging right across. I don't know about this. This might be too chromatic. But I could always come back with another glaze that would make it less chromatic. I may reserve judgment. I'm going to do a little bit of flogging and I'm probably going to be stepping in front. I'll try to let you see. I'm 
don't like it. I think because it's too wet that the striation part of it might not hold up. So what I'm going to do is babysit it for a while and see if these streaks, which are pretty nice, I'm going to see if those streaks hold up. They might not. Top of the box doesn't have any of that bright, intense yellow going on. I don't know what else on my panel is wet, so I'm going to be a little bit careful with what I'm touching. I just took some of the medium tone on this soft-ish brush and glazed the top of the box and used that wet glaze to, at the same time, clean up that edge. I think that worked. I still don't know about this. Over the next half hour, it could wind up not, not working at all. And I'm concerned a little bit with this slop over here. Best to clean this glaze off with a little bit of linseed oil on a soft rag um, rather than turp. Turp is a little bit too rough. This is an angle brush and it's just dry. There's no oil on it or turp. This is the completed first glaze. It's the next day. The glaze is dry and I'm ready for a second glaze. I'm using Van Dyke Brown. I've got just a soft old angle brush very little medium, mostly just right out of the tube color. I just put this glaze on yesterday. So I'm trying to be very gentle with the surface of the panel. So I don't want to damage yesterday's work. As I come around out of the darkness, I'm, I'm just using some medium to hopefully make a little bit of a transition out of that darkness. I'm also trying to differentiate where the wood, this wood stops at that seam. Trying to be very gentle. Dry, clean, soft brush. I'm not even bothering to rotate the canvas because I'm not doing the entire 
box. It could very easily be a th another glaze after this one, even. A third glaze. I'm going to wipe back. There'll definitely be a black glaze all down here on the table, and that will separate the reflection from the actual objects. Notice this is a flat brush. I can chop a pretty sharp line in using the edge of this brush. There's a drop down right here on this cast shadow. From this banding on the lid. I'm working with just plain Van Dyke Brown and I'm just tapping more darkness into the shadow area of that box. This should help to bring forward the reflection of this wooden pedestal. Down on the granite tabletop. Rotated my canvas upside down again. 